And we're back. Yes, for another installment of Mind Gym to get those cells pumping. Did you ever feel that you're unfulfilled? That your mind just isn't achieving all it could? I sure do. Well, we've got a camp guy from the 90s to help you. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, restore. You remembered us. Excellent. Never gets old. Here we go. Oh yeah, we didn't even get into the locker. Sudden thought. Where would your house keys be if they weren't always in the last place you look? So you're back. Back for more! That's good. Wasn't likely that we were going to get you fully fit in one go, was it? Well, you know where everything is, so choose your weapons. I demand satisfaction. Hello! Oh, hello. I almost missed that. Right, let's get started. <laughs> so we did everything in this room in an attempt to open the locker, which still won't open. Uh -huh. And the only thing left is our happy bowl of cherries. Yeah. Sudden thought. If life is a bowl of cherries, is death a pile of parsnips? <gasps> so what are we anyway? Fruits um, or vegetables? A bunch of lemons, a pile of couch potatoes? <laughs> I think we are... Yeah, I think we're sweet fruit. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Let's just put that in the description for the channel. I get called a vegetable. It's a simple enough question. Yes or no? No or yes? Yes or no? You, the viewer, decide. No. Me? I'm a bit of a mishmash. I hate Sour those. Sour mash, maybe. <laughs> or more like, a, more like a sweet potato. A sweet mashed potato. Yeah, that's it. I think we'll have to go potato. no on this one as well. <laughs> Boo! Ah, oh, we broke it. Uh, well, ignore! I think this is obvious. <laughs> butter. Ah, so you found my little list. Thanks for reminding me, I need some butter. Anyway, some serious business now. You want to get in shape? Stay sharp. Trim the fat. Ooh. Snip, snip. Oops. Right, time for a change. First up, you need to change some of those nasty habits of yours, those standard ways of thinking that you've grown up with, those preconceptions you have, like those boring old prejudices you probably have about people like me. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Like, try this. I'm gonna give you this book. It's a great book. You really should read it. I loved it. Changed my life. Read it, please. So, what are you thinking? Tell me honestly. Oh, definitely read that. Could be useful. I'll give it a shot. I don't really have the time. Looks like bullshit to me. Okay, I... seriously, fun <clears throat> fact, if you go on the Amazon page for the reviews of this, a bunch of people are like, what the hell, this isn't a game, it's just an advertisement for some kind of awful self-help book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really hope they're trolling, because if they're not... <laughs> if this book exists. Good lord. Ah, uh, so... Yeah, um, no, I I don't have the time. No, I... but I don't... wealth, health, and happiness sounds a bit like an evil fairy godmother kind of thing to offer. All free. It's a little suspicious for one yeah. book. I mean, the third is kind of given with the first two. You know, it could be useful, but that doesn't necessarily say that it's we're going to read it. I I use big heavy books in my room to kill spiders. So it Excellent. could be useful. Well, you can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Or maybe you can. Can you or can't you? Can you or can't you? Well, you just did. Do that often, Aww. do you? Exercise your bias rather than your mind? Hey, we've all got biases, cousin. You and me, we ain't so different. Just uh, two sides of the same coin. Pick a shirt. I don't own any of these. I guess uh, middle right is the closest I own, but... Yeah, that's kind of dorky, though. With, like. Yeah, it doesn't have the collar. <laughs> I think this is um, the symbol, maybe, of... I say, Metropolis? Other... Maybe it's a symbol of the game company things. Looks a bit out of place, honestly. Advertising. There's <laughs> your classic fish shirt. Uh, I don't think this game is representing genders equally. If you're female, you've only got one option. You could wear the... the this one, the yellow one. Could do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with the yellow yeah! one! Yeah! <laughs> a few friends in a bar. Close friends. The kind of friends who aren't afraid to tell you what they think. I have a few of those. Pretty cool. You're wearing a new shirt. It's cool. It's clean. And your friends hate it. In fact, they don't just hate it, they absolutely loathe it. That's not a shirt, man. That's a design disaster. A style spillage. That shirt couldn't get arrested. You might get arrested by the fashion police for carrying an offensive shirt in a built up area. My that friends even sound bad. like this. Bad, not <laughs> it's uncanny, How really. Much did you pay for it? Or did they pay you? 
It's not nice, is it? Friends can be so cruel. But what can you do? I'll never wear that shirt again. Destroy the shirt. Remind me never to wear that shirt again in front of my friends. I'm gonna wear it anyway. <laughs> I like that shirt. What do you think of the shirt, Michael? <laughs> it will look pretty as it burns. It will. Uh -huh. That peer pressure can really get to you, can it? Hello! Gym induction complete! Now we're very narrow-minded, I'm guessing. Ooh, cool. We're not very experimental. Apparently we are good at challenging. Apparently we're open to new ideas. Hey, we're not bad. Hey, proactivity is way up. Yeah! Alright, we just need to get experimental, and then we are apparently good at everything. We're active pros. Yeah. Let's print this off, put it on my CV. <laughs> <laughs> This locker, well and truly unlocked. Your Majesty. Go ahead, try <clears throat> it. Sorry, British reaction. Yeah, they train that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ghost bucket. Well, we've got some basic record of who you are, how you think, what you're like. So, what's it to be? Brush up on the basic building blocks of mental agility in the game's role. Oh, oh, Get the oh. creative juices flowing in the pool of ideas, or make sure your plans will run on the rails of reality in the think tank. Uh, oh, choices. Um, I'm, I'm curious about the ghost bucket. It's a bit out of place, really. It's the least plausible. So you filled it up, and now it's translucent? It's like, I understand these things came out of the locker, but that just, like, evaporated. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Great. What? What? <laughs> what was this? This is my favorite place. The pool. It's Always my new favorite so place. It's refreshing to unshackle yourself from the constraints of practical day to day thinking and just let your mind drift anywhere. Does it have Wi Fi? Float free, using the objects you happen upon here to buoy you up, help you explore different ways of thinking, different ways of being creative. So many things to try, but what's right for you? Let me just look at my notes a minute. Ah, yes. Someone like yourself, so open to new ideas. You might like to take a look at Dr. Bauma's book over there by the edge of the water. Every member is entitled to a complimentary copy, guaranteed to prevent any inbuilt tendency you might have to rush to judge new ideas too hastily. I, no Simple. joke, would love this room. <laughs> If it's got Wi-Fi, I would live here. I mean, you, I know it's a gym and someone's going to bring in her kids and I, like, annoy you, but look at that. When I'm rich, I'm recreating this. I, you do have to swim to get to bed, though. There's, yeah. there's, there's no bridge. There is no bridge, but that's fine. So, there are a lot of things to try in here. So, since we had so much luck with the TV last time... Go for it. You're watching Mind Gym News. Oh, hi, Phillips. Big story tonight, a major cherry spillage in the changing room area. Emergency services are experiencing severe difficulties clearing up the debris due, they say, to the lack of appropriate equipment. Say, maybe you can help here. What do you reckon might be the best piece of equipment for cherry picking, hmm? Um... What? <laughs> oh... Uh, uh, what? Come on! I just pick the hand. He's gonna mock us, whatever we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just a little explanation. Yeah, the answer is never the obvious thing. Uh oh. Picking up those little beggars by hand will be a pretty fiddly job, I should think. Mind you, it's only the bigger picture that made your choice look a bit foolish. Just staring at those cherries wasn't really going to help you pick the right tool for the job, was it? I find that looking at things from another angle, or on another scale, is a really good way of coming up with fresh ideas. Yeah, screw physics. Yeah! Look at the bigger picture, which we won't give you until you're already wrong. <laughs> because that's just how I get my kicks. Hello! Welcome back to Mind Gym News. A cure for the common cold. Is it really possible? And who is going to stop that tap dripping anyway? Are you? No. 
I pay to be Good here. Good for you. I mean, <laughs> where do you think the constant drip drip of ideas for this pool comes from? Cork that up and you'll be blocking off a major source of inspiration here. You should always consider reframing or rescaling the problem before you dive in with a solution. That's what I say. How could we rescale yes or no? <laughs> this is not incredibly applicable, is it? Save us cucumbers. It's our thought. cucumbers. Whoa. No, no, no. It's not me you want, it's the garden peas! They're all mad, I tell you! Mad, mad, mad! <laughs> what? Some thought. Do bees have knees? Some things just don't make sense, do they? Don't stack up. I mean, let's talk about bees. In theory, they shouldn't be able to fly. But they do! How is that? Crazy, if you ask me. But sometimes you have to contemplate the crazy to come up with a really buzzy idea. Take this cucumber, for example. Cool, calm, and collected. And a fairly crazy contraption. Given half a chance. I mean, you can do almost anything with it. Uh, well, when I say anything, perhaps not anything. If you're looking for a way to establish world peace and universal understanding, a cucumber probably isn't the first thing that springs to mind. But then again, there's a lot to be said for starting out with a seemingly crazy notion. So, why really? not a cucumber formula for world peace? Take one cucumber, add one physical operation, mix in one mysterious oral process, and see if you can come up with a way for us all to be happy and love one another in a world of peace and harmony. Go on! Show how genuinely insane you really are! Okay. Okay, sing along with me. Uh... uh... Science! <laughs> yes! Cucumber equals MC squared. Screw it! <laughs> Alright, if you duplicate it, you can solve world hunger. Although cucumber doesn't have much nutrients. If you stretch it, you can use it to make an international monorail system, which will link the world together. Huh. Model? If you model cucumbers, you can teach kids about art or something. If you paint them, it makes pretty decorations, and everyone will stare at them instead of fighting. If you shrink them, you won't any longer have that half a cucumber in the fridge that goes mushy when you don't eat it. If you slice it, you have... Cucumber. <laughs> For sandwiches. World peace sandwiches. Okay, I like duplicate. Okay, well, I don't think we can pick a different one now. Ah, yeah. Good. Okay, pick a number. But it's a mystery. <laughs> it's a mystery thing. All right, we have two cucumbers to so go for two. We bring you now to the sound of a man being pelted with news. Wow. Oh dear, oh dear. It's amazing what havoc a few super-hardened vegetables can play with a military band. Completely destroys a soldier's will to fight. What? Science is trial and error, Michael. We must try again. <laughs> okay. Um, we need to find out what these mystery noises are. Let's try slice. I want to see how this could accomplish anything. Is that really slicing? They just kind of extracted pieces of the cucumber. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Great, now we got half a cucumber. Sliced. Okay, let's, um, let's try number three. So you put one slice over each eye, and it helps you sleep, allowing you to arrive at your destination fresh, in a good mood, and tolerant of foreigners. Nice idea. Jet lag is not the cause of all violence in the world. That's an interesting interpretation. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like every racist group ever. They were just really tired. <laughs> just really grumpy, tired. And they just needed a bit of relief from... Shadows under their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and also a little snack after a nap. Okay, um, your turn. Right, um, enlarge. And one. Ah, the future of music. Is this stomp? I really. Well, it was. <laughs> Good thinking. Building a great green monument to peace. Or should that be white? 
or brown. Did that go almost unintentionally racist there? I have no idea. Let's just leave. I... <laughs> what? Take me away. No more cucumber mathematics. I came here to sleep in this bed and then swim. Okay. This, this, oh, what's that? It's that? a lamp. Oh. Um, hey, Tesla. Well, that bed's no longer safe. Wise man once said, for every problem, there are two solutions. The okay. conventional solution and the trout. It's a, li a little bit racist. In life, honorable hey, student, there are always choices. It was the 90s. <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. Ah. Um, always go with the uh, trout. <laughs> trout for mayor. In the end, my student, he who always think crazy is always thought of as crazy. <laughs> well, that was enlightening. Fun fact, if you pick it every single time, the trout is not the right solution. Wow. <laughs> the trout became mayor. So he's a politician. Oh, I see. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, this room's starting to creep me out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go somewhere a little less creepy. That goes good. <laughs> yeah! That is the worst chair possible. Nothing is creepy in this room. We all know the value of play, don't we? All those playground games of our youth gave us a few life skills, huh? Behind the science block, eh? <laughs> With the porcupine, hmm? Well, uh, we don't have to go into that now. Three areas here anyway. The TV will get you involved in a few word and number games. My nautical colleague can sort out your visual and spatial awareness. And there's a secret spy simulator in the bookcase somewhere for honing your memory skills. Enjoy! Bonjour, monsieur. Would you like a year pass to the man gym? I don't know what this is. It's a little creepy box. Hello? Ooh, minigames. Okay. That looks like mini games. Let's try. Um. No, not hairy coconuts. Get <laughs> back shark. your luggles and get a load of this. As I'm sure you'll know by now, the rules are fiendishly simple. Just watch the direction symbols and maneuver the object through the maze without touching the sides. If you touch the sides, you lose a life, and the object gains three thousand hemp airs of finest electrical current. Oh yeah, I forgot. The maze is invisible, of course. But I will give you a little flash of it, so to speak, before each round. Ready? Then off you go! Now, try not to fry the little girl's fish. <laughs> oh my god. Meanwhile, in my childhood... I... Um, I... I... What? Um, how do we control this? What's the matter? Frightened of a bit of high voltage electricity? Oh, we drag it with the mouse. Oh god, it's one of those games. Oh, you gotta start going right, man. Down, 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 down. Unlucky. You know, oh. a friend of mine was sent to the electric chair. I said, do you have a last wish? He said, yeah, hold my hand. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well done, shipmate. <laughs> our personal best. Well done, minion. Come back oh. soon. We'll miss you cooking. That is not a sailor's voice. That is a devil. <laughs> yeah. So, meanwhile, in my childhood... Is there a draft in here? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that was lame. Ooh, TV. Yes, that's what we come here for. TV. Let Ooh. Let me just get my apron on here. <laughs> okay. Let's play Big Kahuna Burger. Okay! Well, I'm sure oh, you no. know the rules by now, but for the benefit of the folks watching at home, here's how to play! Okay! First, you take a look at the calories target on the Big Kahuna Burger! Now that's what you're trying to hit. If you make it before the buzzer, you win... <laughs> I love it. So, here we go. The ketchup adds, the mustard subtracts, the mayo divides, the dressing multiplies. There's my target! So, ingredient, condiment, ingredient, condiment, ingredient, condiment, ingredient, condiment, ingredient, cazola. 
Didn't I do well? Anybody would think that was rehearsed. <laughs> now, as an additional rule, every ingredient must be followed by a condiment. Confused? You should be. Now it's your turn. Here's your target, Big Kahuna Burger, coming right up. You have 30 seconds, starting from... Now! Cheese. Uh. Go cheese. Oh, okay. Really? Really? Well, come on, that's such a lame way to do it. <laughs> Use mm, mass! You could have cheese and then onion and oh my god, no, what am I, I saying? <laughs> okay, You're actually enjoying this, aren't I like these puzzles. Challenging. You have 30 seconds starting okay. from now. It's your problem. Uh, 990. So if we go burger times onion. Uh, I don't know what onions look like. <laughs> uh, 20 uh, seconds. Time. We're in trouble. Times four. So, yep. Minus. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm screwed. Uh, just keep minusing burgers. <laughs> you have 30 seconds, starting from now. My bad. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Um. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so okay. useless. Here's a new target burger coming right up. You have 30 seconds, starting from now. This is kind of hilarious. Times three. Four. Five times uh, four. That. Yeah, four. Times up by four. And minus a little something. Minus, uh, minus a burger. Minus a burger. 20 seconds. Times it by... Times ten. And then add eight. Teamwork! Science! Maths! You have 20 seconds. This game's got it all. From now. Does it ever end? No. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Uh, times four. No! Uh, Whoa. Um, I think you just got a heart attack. Uh, oh god, I oh got. Minus. Uh, uh, minus four. You had this lick minus last time. So what happened out there? Oh. Here's your check. See you again soon. But. <laughs> oh wait, we get paid to be here. A oh. big Kahuna high score. Yeah. A round of applause. Get stuffed. <laughs> okay. I think I think we're done for now. <laughs> yeah. Um. That was. That was uh, Got our brains working. That that was mine too. It's, it's gonna help with revision, I think, for my case. <laughs> So it's so mentally stimulating. Ooh. The accents and the crazy guy. We want to go. How do we leave? Oh wait, I think I got this. <laughs> I had function lock and I couldn't quit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I changed it for you. So you're gonna stay and leave? Do you have a choice? I don't think so. Ah. <laughs> you just misunderstand me. Everywhere I go, there's prejudice. <laughs> so much prejudice. <laughs> well, that boring prejudice. <laughs> Make it stop. He's not even here, and he's here with us. <laughs> Wait, I figured that. It's a game that turns you into him. Oh my god, he's building an army. Whatever you do, people, don't buy and play this game. I can feel the changes already. Hello! <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> yes, save. But not going through that again. <laughs> You're free. <laughs> oh goodness. Word. Word.